Wonderful. So all good Start news. And all Munge Mandir is in Seva Ras because tomorrow is a Radha Mohan's appearance day and big celebration. Yeah. Yeah. So good if I thought maybe some devotees would like to share of their experiences. Because I have no volunteers, but the whole Monge Mandi is full of nectar, dasis and souls who are now drenched in Braja Rasa. They all want to share. Are there, are there maybe Russian devotees want yeah. to share? You see, <laughs> my Govinda Mohani, always ready. <laughs> yeah. Sunitididi, so, who's there? <laughs> Is this Jati yes. Maharaj? Yes, yes, I'm happy to be here. I found here very nice, very sweet family. Oh. And I, my Naras, all the audience who is here. Um, my experience to be here very small, very limited, but I found a uh, very, very nice Thakurji here, Radha Mohanji, Lalita Vishaka, Champakalata, Chitra, Indraide, Induleka. Mm. And today, morning time, I, I feel so much mercy from all Thakurji, Kopishwar Mahade, uh, Vaishnavi, uh, Vaishnavi's uh, concert of Vaishnav Matashambu. And from all Thakurji here, but I found the place, even I'm, how to say, <laughs> new person here, but so much mercy, so much love. This is wow. my first experience, I'm happy. Yesterday was very nice Parikrama, we visited one very elevated Vaishnava, his name, we know the Baba in Varshana. It was very nice Parikrama around Varshana. He, he brought us to his parikrama. It's very important because I heard from uh, my Shubhurdev, Shilbakantaranga Samaraj, he told, then Rasika Vaishnava going to Raja, uh, if someone following him, he's introducing this person to Lila Stadi. I heard like this. It's important. He can make our connection with Lila Stadi because Lila Stadi is, is a person, not just uh, matter. Rade, Rade. Thank you, Maharaj. So nice. Happy to see you there in all good association and fully absorbed. And very nice today, but you already heard this. And also before I heard, so very nice kitten of Jananda Maharaj, uh, these Japanese devotees. And uh, today was present one picture of Shri Matradika, a very beautiful picture. Wow. Who made this picture? Today, it's present there. It's near to us. I don't know who made the picture, but so nice. So sweet. Yes. Wonderful, Rasa Stali. You know that uh, Sadhu Maharaj tell you how actually his grandfather received. Uh -huh. The meditation that Radha Mohan would be appearing at that place. It was also a special, special meditation, right, Gurdiv? <laughs> he is now getting ready to drive to Delhi. Actually, Sadhu Maharaj's grand grandfather, Raghunandan Singh, he was meditating. He was always absorbed in bhajan. His he was a Raja Rishi, and he would, in his bhajan, perceive that the, that place where Radha and Mohan temple has now appeared was the meeting point also, Yoga Stali of Radha and Mohan. Krishna was coming from cow grazing, and Radharani was coming with her girlfriends, and there they meet. And because in his bhajan he had this view, this vision, then he established the Radha Mohan Raj Munge Mande there. 
So this is also very deep meditation. Once we are in this place, it is a meeting place. And often we are also meditating that this Dada Mohan Mandi is also a kunj. Because they are meeting externally in some place, in some, you know, peat. But actually internal meeting is also going on every day and every second. That I wanted to share for to, for tomorrow's preparation. Can you correct me, Gurudev? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> I think that she's preparing the, uh, some theater on this. Yeah, so tomorrow we will see this, no? That Leela. Leela. Wow. In the for <laughs> in the form of the lies that wow this is very nice so you will see it tomorrow also the devotees are doing a leela tomorrow will be 90 years wow. since the establishment right right, right. what what how many years kishori 90. 90. Oh, 90. Nine zero. Nine. Right. And uh, uh, Jati Maharaj, maybe uh, is the Radha Mohan Das there? Uh, Radha Mohan, Radha Govinda Das, that you can translate for him? What is his feelings? He's not here right now. Oh. And also, also two more Russian devotees not here. <clears throat> Maybe coming, coming. Yes. Okay. So, who else would like to share something? We are always depending on the devotee's mercy. Or oh, maybe the internet has stopped, huh? Hmm. Good Dave, are you there? You know what? Comfortable. Oh, okay. Internet yeah. was stopped. She asked she asked comfortable. She asked comfortable. Yeah, she asked comfortable. <coughs> oh, yes. Yes. Sir. No, we it was just stopped. I wanted to ask if somebody from Monge Monday would like to share. Would that? No. <laughs> you can come. You can come there. Yeah. He will come, he will come. No, you can hear my but the problem is I have nothing to share. Come on, you sit here. Okay, you also sit here. And we do like this.
सो राधे राधे कौन अच्छा होगा इसलिए Wow, that's Come. wonderful, Gaur Chandra. Come here, Meena boy. Let's start from that side. No, What please. is going on, Suniti? Oh, just we try to find somebody who wants to share. <laughs> yeah, I want to share, but some disturbance is there. Or? No, no, no. Gaur Dev is just uh, orchestrating oh, all right. the devotees. Okay. Yeah. My Rasa Madhuri and me, we have tomorrow also our second anniversary of being married on the Monday. I cannot believe how quick My the time went. and when i remember that time and my heart start beating again because it was so intense time just the corona lockdown started it was on 7th of march i think that rasa madhuri came from japan but on the 4th of march india already went in lockdown and cancelled all the visa so i was panicking that she could not come but by the mercy of radharani and gurudev and by the help of prashant bhaiya we somehow could manage that she got the special visa and she was the only japanese person who could enter Jap uh, india after the lockdown started and then of course we spent almost 2 years in vrindavan so yeah oh yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Two years, Guru Dev. Yes, and I was asking myself how, what we can tell to the embassy that she could come. What reason we can tell them that she has to come, that she has to get the visa. Come in the picture, please come. <laughs> and it came in my mind that actually we could say that we have a marriage it was not planned but we told them she had to get the visa because we have a appointment for marriage in a temple everything is already prepared guests are already arriving we booked already everything <laughs> like this we made a big story and then somehow we got the visa and so many special things happened so please believe me that radha rani she can make the impossible possible <laughs> and when we arrived the first thing gurudev was saying is okay now you cannot only just make a story for marriage and this and that now you also have to do when you want to do say so, okay when we should do yeah radha mohan does 
So then we fix everything within two days. And we got married <laughs> on 10th of March, two years ago. And wow. yeah, I'm so fortunate. Rasa Madre is great soul. So soft and kind and she is what I need to be balanced in material life also. And we are very happy and we think we can really grow together and do service for Radha Mohan. So, and I'm also very happy to listen that tomorrow my dear Mahatma and my dear Sadhvi will marriage also there. So we will always feel connected to them. I met them both. They also got the mercy to be in the lockdown. They also were just supposed to be some days in Vrindavan and then go back to America. But then also the lockdown happened and they stay some months, like three, four months they stayed. And yeah, they got also so much connection with Guru Dev and Radha Mohan. They are so far in America doing alone their sadhana, doing their jobs, their normal life, but they always feel connected. They always listen to the lectures and now they came back. So they came home also. Mungya Mandi became their home within three months. So I hope there will be a live stream tomorrow that we can watch something from the great festival tomorrow. Thank you very much. Radha, Radha. Thank you, we want to share our beautiful henna. <laughs> Yeah, please. <laughs> wow, Sadhvi. Jai Ho. You become like Radharani now. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Radhe, Radhe. I just it's want to say to you that I'm so happy because two years ago, Tadwi was helping me for the marriage. Yeah, so it was, oh. you remember? And Tadwi was there the day we got married on the 18th of March. And Sadhvi was helping me to cool down, to relax, because I was so excited. And now it's your day. I'm so happy for you and Mahatma. So lots of love. <laughs> really, so happy. Thank you. I also remember your marriage, Ma Yoga Shakti. You was a very beautiful bride also. <laughs> Jai Ho. Thank you, Ma Yoga Shakti and Shruti. It was the sweetest. And I remember Kishori putting all of the ornaments on your face. And then I never thought this would happen to us. But of course, mercy of Guru Dave and Radha Mohan. And so um, now we're relishing. <laughs> and you remember you were ready to leave. And I was so uh, um, traurig. I was so, so sad because you wanted to leave before our marriage. And then you said to me, no, we stay. And we was like, <laughs> <laughs> and then came the lockdown. So everybody stayed. So my good wishes to you. Thank you very much, Jai Radhe. And my God, He is also you. coming. Bhagavat Amrita. They're coming. Bhagavat Amrita. And 
They read. Wow. What they, they are read. doing in Rome? Prema, she is coming. Ah, pray, also. She is coming. Coming. <laughs> yeah, you see, Prema and Bhagavata Mita is there. Ashram I love is you, full. Guru. There, oh. I love when she said this. I love you, Guru. There, <laughs> we love Prema. Yeah. Oh, so happy for all of them. We miss you so much, everybody. Sruti is also a... <laughs> yeah. yeah. And Raja is also coming. Yeah. Today is Raja coming. Wow, Gurudev, we are so happy to hear this surprise. Oh, Raja. Oh, yeah. What is coming or not? No, he will come back. I will start with you. Oh, ah, really? <laughs> Guru Dev, I have one question. Yeah. <laughs> So you yeah. don't you don't make mm -hmm. brahmacharis. You say to everyone you should be settled down in good relationship. You want most of your disciples being married and having a normal life. Mm -hmm. Is that also in connection with our adhikar of being uh, a manjari? Because in spiritual, we also married, we doing our household, but secretly, our heart is in different place. So is there oh, connection between yeah. sadhak and siddha group? Yeah. Oh. Jeho means to what? To understand the feeling of rest. Huh? To understand the feeling and importance of relation and love from material body, from the soul. We have to realize it. When I went to Japan, I say, they are all monks to Jananda Maharaj. Old Japan is monks. <laughs> oh, it's this. Internet to the first time. Uh oh. I don't know. That's a bit of offline. Yeah. So. Jananda Maharaj understand. <laughs> he make it a seeker. He will say what he do. <laughs> Nasi Dominus. Yes, Jain Anna Maharaj, would you like to explain what Gurudev said that you are doing?
Gauranga Chanda ji, I was just thinking that also in Gauranga's Leela, Gauranga Mahaprabhu's Leela, most of the devotees were all married in normal positions. Gauranga Mahaprabhu took sannyas, but it was like the only way how he could taste his radha baths because Mother Sachi always wanted to keep him in Navadvip. Uh, I mean, yeah. She wanted to keep him there. He was married twice. But even at that time, he was more in the mood of a pandit. And his his greatest desire or wish that he wanted to fulfill is that he will feel what Shimati Radhika feels in her love to Krishna. So he had to find the circumstances how he could feel this. And then when they were singing and dancing in uh, Shiva's Angam, it was already the highest ecstasy that that was expressing, you know, the deepest feelings. But then when he came to Puri and he was in the separation mood, then he really became crazy. And crazy means that he was feeling the deep feelings of separation that Shimati Radhika would feel in Gambira together with Ramananda Roy yeah. and Swarup Damodha. So I guess for the preaching, for the preaching purposes that you know, to share the holy name and to spread the mood. He took sannyas, but actually you see all the disciples, all the close associates, they were not in the mood of giving up everything or their, their circumstances. Even later Mahaprabhu told Nityananda to, to get married again. That was really a vadud, right? Jainanda Maharaj, you're back. <laughs> Radhe, Radhe. Yes. Maybe yes. you like to share something on this point. Um. Mahaprabhu Oru. Nitai, Nitai Chan, secretly. And uh, he said to Nitai, don't come to Jagannath Puri every year and get married and preach in Bengali. Because uh, Mahaprabhu uh, cannot go, it is difficult to go to Mahaprabhu uh, for traveling, even though he traveled first six years to South India and uh, North India, including Baranashi Brindavan. But uh, later, past time, he want to stay in Jagannath Puri and he want to observe the Lada's Baba, or maybe Manjari Baba also, in a, in a small uh, room, which called uh, Gambira, with uh, Swarpa Damodara and Ramanandaya. And Govinda was serving Mahaprabhu. And uh, very interesting, sometimes Mahaprabhu's chanting name is also Govinda could hear. Sometimes he was, he could hear Mahaprabhu, it seems hitting his head. It seems so much anxiety, so much uh, superficial suffering because of separation from Krishna. 
So now that's moved. Mahaprabhu completed observing Radha Bhakta. Sometimes Manjari Bhakta. So immediately sound stopped it. So Govinda was, was thinking, what's happening, Mahaprabhu? And Gambira is door is all locked. So usually Mahaprabhu could not escape. But sometimes Mahaprabhu disappeared. So anyway, uh Nitai Nitai Nichananda is also his road is uh, his Bhagavan, but also same time his servant of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. So he has to follow the order of Mahaprabhu. And he wants to fulfill the desires of Mahaprabhu. So Nitai follow Mahaprabhu's order blindly. So he went to Bengali. I think Surasena was very great devotee of Nitai, Nichananda and Mahaprabhu. And uh, some other he offered his daughter uh, Janaba and Basuda. So <clears throat> especially our our line, Mahaprabhu line. Most of the devotees, Gurihasta, householders, and they, they, they do just ordinary life, but they are completely observing the service of Mahaprabhu, Valada Mohan. So Gurudev Sadhu Maharaj also told us don't behave like a monk. When he came to Japan, so he was watching everybody and then he surprised. Everyone is single and uh, does not want to uh, involve many things. So he was saying, oh, you are Japanese, all monk, even man and lady, also monk. <laughs> so then he asked me to, to get many people married. <laughs> Still, I, I, I could not feel uh, that desire of Guru Dev. But uh, today, Gora Chandra and Rasa Madri share, and also here, not there, uh, Annapurna and Radha Mohanji, oh. Andaka and Kishori. So we are uh, importing. <laughs> devotee from Europe <laughs> because we don't have enough man. <laughs> so we have uh, many, many nice ladies. <laughs> so we are, we are very much welcome to everybody. <laughs> not everybody. Uh, not everybody. Not everybody. Men. <laughs> Men. <laughs> So if a someone hey, Raja Bhai arrived. <laughs> Today ah, Raja Bhai. Jai, Jai Raja. <laughs> so we are very much uh, welcome. <laughs> <laughs> and the Guru Dev mentioned how Japan Sangha is increasing. Actually, I did not do anything, honestly. But uh, I do whatever Guru Dev said to us blindly. 
I don't argue with the Guru Dev. I just follow. At, at first, Guru Dev said, You distribute Harinam and then accept, accept the disciple, give Harinam. I said, Guru Dev. I have, I have no desire to do this. I have no qualification to do this. And then Guru Dev said, no, no qualification is qualification. Mm -hmm. And I'm asking him, is this your order? Is desire? Then he said, yes. Then what can I say? Yes, Guru Dev, I, I do on behalf of you. And then we don't know what to do. But <coughs> Radha Mohan's arrangement, one Ayurvedic yoga school invited me to speak something about uh, bhakti or yoga. So we are we are thinking. So what kind of subject should should we talk? And then, so I was thinking. So from beginning of my life, I have a uh, many questions, especially seven questions of life. Who am I? Who is God? Buddha is God, or God is impersonal or personal or energy. I could not figure out. And also, what's happening after this? And uh, what kind of universe is there? What kind of living entity is there? And uh, what is the real aim of life? How to attain the, 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 the aim of life, etc. So I have many questions. Maybe one by one, if I could explain uh, briefly, it may be Good. So we did and the uh, first class I request everybody to chant Hare Krishna on beat. Then amazingly, all people took beat and start chanting Hare Krishna. <laughs> so this is a, this is the greatest mercy of Guru Dev. <laughs> When I was Eastern time, when I was Bodhiyamata time, I could not make devotee enough. Maybe I made a few devotees. But uh, interesting, many good people is coming. Then I start thinking, oh, actually, this is Guru Dev is sending to me. <coughs> like a, before I had a lecture of Prabhupada, he was talking about, oh, my Guru Dev is sending my, my disciple, my students to me. <laughs> At that time, I could not understand. But 
What does it mean? Uh, slowly, slowly. I was... <laughs> <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> <laughs> back. Oh, I'm with, I'm with. Wow. Wow, my dear. Good. Oh, my number. Three miles coming. I love Wow, my prima, my our prima. Hey, many Japanese also. Everybody so excited to receive 
Oh my god, no problem. I'm not You don't need to touch <laughs> You see, like the disciples are doing, no touch. <laughs> <laughs> so we want to share a little bit in Japan. <coughs> Is okay with them? Yeah, yeah. So please. So and then uh Kishori was the first student of this this uh, this uh, class. So and then I asked Kishori and other other devotee. So I would like to <coughs> I'd like to share this Raga Bhakti, but I don't have any ability to correct people. So please help me. And then she started uh, organizing every Saturday class. And also, uh, we have a regular also class. But sometimes people coming, sometimes going. And then it takes uh, Two, three years it takes. And then one day, yoga teacher start coming. Because very funny, I was inviting one, one meeting with a Western astrologer teacher and also some, what you say, uh, some knowledge from very divine. We say shin, shin, chigaku, shin, pigaku, like, uh, <coughs> so I, I try to become friendly with uh, these other teachers. I gave my book, my translation, and he gave me his books. So he, he introduced his friend who is a yoga teacher. <coughs> and uh, one lady, no, three lady come to our class. That is Ma Bhakti Himagiri. Wow. So Ma Bhakti Himagiri is, he was traveling all over Japan. So he, he just opened yoga center. But uh, he lost yoga teacher, philosophy teacher. So he started looking for all over Japan. Who is a yoga teacher? Who can teach philosophy? <laughs> but she could not find out. So it happened to come to our class. And then one hour, maybe one hour, 15 minutes. I explain all the yoga system, what's the real aim of life, the meaning of Gita, etc. And she shocked. She could not, she could not even stand up sometimes. <laughs> then she asked me, hey, Jayananda, could you give, give you Bhagavad Gita class in, you, in my yoga center? I said, yes. Then our Gita class starts. And also, I, I said to them, so my Gurudev is in Vrindavan. 
Christmas. We are we are visiting Brindaba every year. Would you like to come with me? So yes, yes, yes. So at that time, I don't know, maybe 12 people, maybe 13 people come to Brindaba. Then met Gurudev, and then more inspiration coming. Then Gurudev said, please, please chant, and please distribute Sankirtan. So then, slowly, slowly, each yoga center, Sankirtan starts. So, then amazingly, many people start crying, especially Mabakdi Himagiri, pray harmonium, Sridhara Bhaya teach her, and then many people start crying. Sometimes I went to north part of Japan, because Bhakti Himagiri invited me to, to give some class. Because that area, committing suicide rate is so high, number one in Japan. If I ask somebody, how many people, your friend, your relative commit suicide? And then start like this. More than 10. I completely shocked him. Then I also start chanting, also I start explaining. Then also many people start crying. At that time, I brought small mara, more than 100 mara. I explain the meaning of Maha Mantra. So this is a this is a solution. Please chant it. If 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 no effect, please complain. I'm hundred percent sure you can have this. So is anybody want to take it? Take it. At that time, maybe 90 people there. Then people started coming like anything. Give me three, give me four. I completely shocked. For whom? Oh, this is my mom, this is my father, this is my sister, like this. And then chanting is starting in that area. In that area, the very small, small prefecture, less than one million people. But now, more than 2,000 people chanting. My God. Just small prefecture, 2,000. So then, after three years, committing suicide related number one to ten. <laughs> even, even, even government surprised. <laughs> government gives some money to Mabakti <laughs> <laughs> so, Harinam Sankir is so powerful. And also, you know, I was Gurihasta. So, I'm very busy because I'm eight hours working, five hours, four, five hours translating. One, two hours, I, I send in mail, I make phone call. I can talk with my wife only five minutes a day. <laughs> my wife, Karabati, is complaining to me. 
<laughs> what kind of husband do you are? <laughs> you are so kind to your student, <laughs> but uh, you are not kind to me. <laughs> what kind of husband do you are? <laughs> then I was shocked. <laughs> Because you know, I slept on three, four hours. Yes, the, uh, but uh, I have to, I have to take care of wife, my wife. <laughs> then I was thinking, <coughs> I, I will, I will speak parikata for you every morning and every every evening. <laughs> But, but please let everybody hear also. <laughs> so then we start to, we are starting this Zoom class. At that time, we, we did the Skype class. <laughs> so we start, I think, 2016. We start every morning. Every evening class. <laughs> then at first maybe 10 people, 20 people listening every morning. But Harikata is so, so powerful. Slowly, slowly people coming to our class. <laughs> Now I don't know. Now 160, 170 people listen every day. All almost new people. <coughs> then now I I request Gora Chandra to speak. Radharasa uh, Sudani once uh, once a week something. Also I. I also request other people to, to, to speak and share. <laughs> so then every every morning 30 minutes, evening 30 minutes, or something hour, one hour. And then by the mercy of Guru Dev, we had the Friday, Saturday, and Monday class. Sometimes, sometimes, oh no, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and sometimes Monday also. So now many people is hearing Guru Devas and all of other devotees sharing. Also, we are following a Prabhupada, honestly speaking. So what Prabhupada does? Distribute holy name, distribute prasada, distribute harikata. Yeah. Because like uh, in your country, you know, like uh, Russia or, you know, like Europe, Germany, you have many books, Krishna consciousness. Maybe for also, maybe you may have many. But uh, we don't have in Japanese, even Prabhupada, because we have only five or six Prabhupada. Only. No Chaitanya Charitamrita, no Bhagavad, maybe one, but almost nothing. So I was thinking to, to, to share in Japan, we, we have to have books. Otherwise, our sharing is not effective. So I was every month I made one book. Sometimes students complain, 
<laughs> you make so many books. <laughs> I cannot be. <laughs> every month, every month, Pagatam. <laughs> But I say, if time coming, coming, I cannot translate, I cannot make book anymore. The time will come. So now I have to make it. Because now my situation is a little bit. Mm, I don't have enough time to 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 do many things because my wife go back to original home, real home. So then, then many people start to coming to our our house. Then I have to give more personal care to to everybody. <laughs> then naturally, my time is big, is limited. I don't have enough time to 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 translate or write. And then we are doing like this. I gave lecture and uh, let my student, my disciple, transcript. And then somebody edit. Then I can I can check I can add I can you know omit something. So then many people engaged to to making book. Also, I want to share Patreba Gurudev give give us. Our Gurudev is Metananda. So Gurudev is representative of Nitai. And also Radharani, Radhagashi. So whatever we that we did is I could say I blindly follow Guru Dev. I have no argument with Guru Dev. Whatever Guru say, I try to do. I think that give us that kind of that kind of feeling, that kind of surrender. Even though I may not surrender, but I try to be surrender. Then I guess rather than may priest and rather than send a people and good actually good day to sending people. So whatever Guru Dev is sending, sending us, we try to help. And my duty is to bring to Sadhu Maharaj. So now 
Slowly, slowly, many people start coming. For me, it is amazing, incredible. <laughs> Because I was, I was preaching, I was distributing book since 36 years. <laughs> We may distribute many books, thousands, thousands books, but not too many people come to us. Not too many people become devotees. We are not United States, we are not Italy, we are not Germany, we are not Croatia, you know, we are not Russia. So, but the uh, thing is slowly, slowly happening. By the mercy of Nityananda and uh, Gada Moha. So, also, I also uh, suggest <laughs> if, if we could help or share. <laughs> so our experience <laughs> so we want to share <laughs> to also if there is some <laughs> some help <laughs> also we need as a devoted help <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> especially from <laughs> senior <laughs> devotees <laughs> especially senior <laughs> devotees <to say. laughs> Thank you very much. Nice experience. Yeah. When did you meet Gurudev? I met Gurudev in 2013. And then I got to Masi Gurudev in 2014. And Gurudev asking me to go back to Japan in 2014. March. You met him here? I met him here. Because I got a student visa, so I was I was supposed to stay in Durban for many years. But the Guru then said, "Go back." <laughs> What? I have you know I have money with me. Some I got a student visa. Why are you talking about? <laughs> And then he said, you have to distribute Raga Bhakti, not to buy the Bhakti. Oh my God. This is a very, actually, tough. Gurudev sometimes, you know, he's, he told me very, very difficult to give up. One, you know, I was studying Sanskrit. I was studying Harinamrita Vyakara. More, more one month, that book will complete for this, for study. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then Guru Dev said, Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> I, I would like to say, Guru Dev, please wait for one month. <laughs> but uh, but uh, I. I determined not to argue with you today. This is my policy. Okay, Gurudev. No, actually, he said, stop study Hindi Sanskrit. I was studying Hindi also because I got student to visa. He told me, stop it. 
And then, and that the same day, I went to Sanskrit teacher and he did it. Sorry, my guru dev asked me to stop studying. So I'm very sorry. I have it. It's holding me my offense. <laughs> and then stop it. And then I no taxi, no I told the Guru Dev. Then Guru Dev was so smiling. Okay, oh, you stop it? It's very smiling. <laughs> Means you know, oh you oh now you give up whole thing you ego you want to become a pandit? No. Say I give up. So I could not forget the Guru Dev smiling that time. <laughs> so sometimes Guru Dev is uh, chastisement <laughs> or some unexpected unex order. <laughs> But we have to accept it. Like yesterday, we are we are, we are discussing, we are sharing with Guru Dev and Jati Maharaj. And then Guru Dev said to Jati Maharaj, Oh, you came to Japan, you have to see Riyadh Sadhu, Riyadh Baba. And Guru Dev said, Oh, did you meet Vinod Baba? Also, Madara Gopal Baba? Maharaj said, no, you don't have enough time, go to see him. Today you can go. And then he was suggesting, I don't know him. Then Guru Dev said, hey, Jayananda knows. <laughs> Take Jayananda. So yesterday, that time maybe one, maybe one thirty. Guru Dev gave us his instruction. Then we decide to go to Barshane immediately. Then we met the Binod Baba. <laughs> we did the Binod Baba the Parikiram. <laughs> also, we we hear his bhajan. <laughs> Driver taxi and then we We got the We have to see call taxi. You anyone wants to go, they will go taxi. Because there's also space for the Seeing, so I can go my driver. No, no, no. We can get lost in it. Can we can get lost in it. We can get lost in it. Like I said, Radha Kripa Katashi. Why are we going to go? So if we see, we can go. Like I said, Radha Kripa Katashi. So if we see, 
the sidelong glance of Sri Radha. We can get mercy. Also, we can get sidelong glance of Baba, Sadhus, Vaishnava. Then we can get blessing. Some devotee just seeing Baba start crying <laughs> with that she does not know any reason <laughs> but the soul is so felt <laughs> some vibrations <coughs> and touching the heart <laughs> and heart melted <laughs> and then water coming from eyes <laughs> and also his uh, chanting <laughs> one devotee described <laughs> oh this chanting <laughs> could save all over the world <laughs> So we may we may think this chanting is, is some limitation. But actually it is not Mangala. So every every day Guru Dev give us some blessing, also some teaching, also some something to to feel, something to realize. <laughs> Sorry, I, I spoke very much. <laughs> Today, Bhagavat Amrita is also here. Jai. And he knows me. Uh, from 94 or 93? 93. 93. 93. Yeah. Wow. And he's the person who buy the ticket. In 95, 95, 95, and he sent me to uh, America. Wow. And after taking sannyas, he was my translator in South America. Wow. So I want to say to him to share. We want to hear. Yeah, share. He can say. How bad I am. <laughs> how we have a still from that time he has a relation when I was in Grastash. Right or not? Yes. Come. Sit. You want to move? Yeah. Take this also. That's yeah. Going. You're going. Mm -hmm. Thank you. 
You are saying I believe that I have the, the opportunity <clears throat> to meet you in '93 before the uh, the meeting for the World Bank Now Association, and in that time I I was living in Brindavan, helping in the projects of Brinda Kunja. Yamuna Kunja, Bamsi Kunja. And, but what can I say from my side is that was a very, very lucky day when I met you. And because uh, you just refuse, you give me your shelter, your protection from that time. And until now, Always merciful and careful for our development, our you are taking out our darkness and in such a lovely way that you are impacting and you are changing the hearts of many, many devotees all around the world. I I have the opportunity to see you activities in India, in America, in South America. And what I listen from many devotees, the way that you impact his lives is amazing. And really, I just feel big, big fortune to, to be in your, in your way and, and that you took me uh, you give me shelter, you give me guidance, you give me proper instructions, and this is just, you, you, I see your mercy in my life. <laughs> the way that you are treating uh, all your, your blood family, your sons, your nephews, your grandsons, and it's amazing the way that you are always <clears throat> giving the proper guidance, instructions, and you are taking care so deeply to everybody uh, in your family, blood family, and also in the Sangha of all the devotees. I just... Uh, I just recognize so many teachings that are for all our lives. Your words are very clear, very deep, and very, the way that you, you make this topic so simple, uh, give us like the opportunity that even without qualification, we also can approach and be blessed and, and be touch and, and change our hearts, our behaviors. And also, you were traveling for many years in Europe and America, and always, I think that the, the impact that you create in many of this is is permanent for all, all the lives. And when we have also the opportunity to listen to your speech, uh, one again and again and again, so many nectar that clarify the, the, your position and how you are pulling us to be also in these in this understandings. I feel very blessed to that you open your heart to me, and 
And this is a big, big family that we appreciate. We are very inspired. And we know that we we are protected in this beautiful sun. No, this is glorious, and I don't like to listen to that. <laughs> I want to listen the facts and truth of <laughs> where I was and where I am. <laughs> that is it. This I want to know from you. Your eyes is in an hard eyes. Uh -huh. You see me in grass ashram. Mm -hmm. yeah. You see me as a Anand Prasad Singh. Yes. Right? Yes. What was the Anand Prasad Singh? What is it like? How you helped me to go to America? <laughs> what was the circle? Go oh, this way, I want to see. Practical. Oh. This is glorification. <laughs> I am interested to know. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> I changed the. I have to change the the the, the cassette. <laughs> because because you know. Like a disciple is the position to glorify. No, is disciple not. He was my friend. Yes, friend also. Same thing. Uh, friend means my son. Friend is my he's not son. Like a son, I'm. He's a friend of Prashant. So he's my like a son. So how he see me? Say me that the uh, honest you have. <laughs> Okay, when I meet Guru Dev, he Nobody was, knows, so I say you to say. <laughs> he was Ananta Prasad Singh, and he was taking care of the family uh, tradition from his grandfather. Uh, and even I think you know that that when, when Guru Dev meet first time, uh, Sila Prabhupada. Sila Prabhupada approached him as grandson, approached Gurudev as grandson. And, and Gurudev said, why he feel, why he treat me as grandson if, if he just know me? But he knows that Gurudev comes from Mongir Raj Mandir, from the from uh, his grandfather was close to Sila Prabhupada. And also because Guru Dev took uh, initiation from a disciple of Prabhupada, become a grandson of Prabhupada spiritually also. <laughs> <laughs> and then this, this approach in them as a grandson become reality when he become a disciple. Disciple, not disciple. Sanyas, I took. Sanyas, yes. Yeah, because no, disciple, I'm rather go with that power. Okay, yes. yes. The Sanyas. <laughs> but <clears throat> uh, what I feel is that the, when, when I meet uh, Guru Deva in the time of Brihasa, no, Anand Prasad, not use this name. Why are you adding? What I know is he was very concerned of the service of Radha Mohan. He was uh, keeping all the, the position to glorify and give all the time and all respect to to Radha Mohan and was very he had a big example of devotion and dedication and uh, he was concerned of the welfare of the, the Gosala and the temple and the uh, so many guests in that, that time many buses come from different places uh, from Bihar, Bengal, come to take darshan of Brindavan and stay here as a Dharma Shacha. And many people, like hundreds, hundreds of people, be, uh, staying in the temples, in the rooms. And from, in that time, uh, the Mongir Mandir was popular for the visitors that come to Brindavan. 
Yeah. In that time. And also next building was another Dharmashala, very yeah. big, that was destroyed now. It's, yeah. now it's an empty place. But in that time was a beautiful Dharmashala also that was serving as a place to receive pilgrims, pilgrim, the people to come, that come to bring down for, uh, for Darshan. And always from the time that I meet Ananta Prashad Singh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, they, they have the Goshala service, they have the, the incredible uh, outfits for the deity. Uh, always, there was like a, in, the, in one room above this room, there was like the safety a place with all the silver decoration for the for the Takuji, for Ramohan, and always supposing special festivals, uh, they take out the Julan or the other, and we was also helping to clean and to organize things that was uh, like the paraphernalia of the deities, and also. Uh, I had the opportunity to to <coughs> be close to Prashant, to Priyesh, to Ra in that time Raja was in, in America. And it was just, uh, I was seen from my eyes as a person that is a Vaishnav from tradition, from, from family lineage, that are also concerned to how to take care of the, of the temple. And always, there was a very good name uh, in, in this means the activities of, of in that time. Ananta Prashad was uh, very respectful for everybody in Brindavan because he he bring he, he is representing the lineage of the of uh, the Raja Raghunanda and, and, the, and the tradition family. And what I see was, uh, in some point, he was also a, a walking into a direction of, of renounce. And he was disattached from the properties, disattached from the position, and he, he was uh, searching to go deeper. And I listened something that that uh, I I think Guru Deva uh, will remember that he was in New York in '95 and he was in front of television and the news says that a person of 75 years or something like no excuse me like 67 years died and would you feel that they are advertising my death and then he feels i have to do something before death because maybe i am the next person that is they are pronouncing that is going to death and what i am doing and he he just took this he, he realized that this is my the advertising of my death. I have to to really engage in, in the service. And then even was a new from somebody else, he took like as a person. This is my advertising of my death. And then Guru Dev, he he moved from my New York to Miami. And and in that time in this in this uh, was in December in that time, even the fly, the flies was um, uh, book or was, was difficult to fly. Then he took a uh, bus. Uh, Raja, Raja organized from bus, and he would uh, come by bus from New York to to Miami. <laughs> and uh, in that time, he he renounced his life. As, and, and took the order of Sanyas. But he never gave up the responsibility to keep this wonderful mandir in the, in the way that you see, that is conserved, protected, 
the bell of clean uh, with so many activities and he is also inspiring many devotees to help and to also cooperate in the in the in these services that are starting from generations before and what i see always i i i honestly is a, a a person in which you can obtain the best um the best trick uh, and and what is the name the he gives the best advice to you uh, always and he's very deeply concerned of the welfare of everybody and he has the wisdom and the view he has the wisdom to to give us the best the best advice and also i when i meet Uh, his family and Raja's family, Raja's wife uh, from Dominican Republic. Uh, I even they, I was, I was thinking, oh, they don't know who are them. The external people don't know really who are them. The tradition of who are them, and I was uh, trying also to 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 introduce to her who is the family that you are related and uh, actually uh, what i see is, is that that always there is a, a big um, there is a reality of the service of of Radha Mohan totally uh, never stop the service always there is a concern and even in difficult times they never stop and now uh, this is a uh, this mandir is alive with all of your presence yeah, with all of your, your with all of your uh, participation and i understand that that um, this is this this the, the way that to keep this alive is because the there is always concern of of uh, inspire everybody and your affection your love is amazing how many years i was traveling in south america you were starting in 95 96 and you travel many times to peru to ecuador colombia you have sometimes colombia have a problem for entering to the country but you always continue to peru you have a very good relation with peru and big the all the what i see i remember now is that always the indian communities in different countries they get totally in love and and touched by the words of of salmar i remember in orlando in west palm beach in miami all the indian communities the sangas the the, the temples they invite guru deva always and there are gathering of many indians and they recognize a person who is representing them a uh, bona fide and they also understand that he come from a royal family and also this is something that um uh, give a lot of respect but also um more above all the royalty is the person who have bhakti and his love and the way that he express express the meanings so easily so simple but so deep and also in i remember that in in peru there is a big big society or community of of uh, indians that always 
uh, invite him and they make a big festival celebration uh, because uh, they understand the, the the position but also the purity and the good example in his for the representing bona fide in a way in bona fide way the the uh, sanatan dharma and the traditions of india <coughs> hmm. Six thirty. Yes, Radhe Radhe Gurudev. Thank you so much for all the devotees sharing. And I feel the uh, love and excitement in all of you now. You are there after a long time. Your heart is full of desire to share your heart. Stand in front of Radha Mohan and pray for your deepest, deepest desires to go into relationship and realize your spiritual identity. So please also pray a little bit for us here who are in separation mood. We are always so lucky to have a little glimpse of your feelings. Thank you also for sharing. Gaura Chandraji is so nice. And Jainanda Maharaj. And thank you also for sharing the the marriage happiness that is building up now for tomorrow's big festival of love <laughs> for the happy couple. <laughs> so, Gurdiv, I hope maybe there will be like a live streaming, something going on tomorrow for the Abhishek. But we're not going to. We will try. Thank you. Very VIA, VIAP person coming tomorrow. <laughs> I heard so. Yes, very, very special. Guest coming. Who is this? Raja Bhaiya Gurudev? Raja Bhaiya is the uh, president of this temple, but uh, one, uh, the ambassador. All the European embassy is the commissioner of the all. Wow. The, that he is visiting here. Beautiful. He wants his wife is Japanese and they want to meet with all Japanese devotees. Oh. <laughs> and the Japanese. Devotee will take care of them, both of them, for serving, talking, arranging everything. Very special. I, uh, yeah, it's special. Right? This is the thing. Don't say all. Just the program. All is said. Yes. She said all. <laughs> Gopinath, don't be hiding now. <laughs> what time is the Abhishek, Gopinath? When all the devotees assemble in the temple, then this will start. <laughs> okay, okay, I understand. <laughs> and is this? That it should be. Chance to sing everyone by them. So give the group voice. First give the chance because the Japanese group are the bigger. So Japanese group has to chance. And Jananda Maharaj will start. And with the Japanese group and devotee and all has to be there. And you think the time, 9, 9.30 something, just after. 
and then Italian devotee brigade, then Italian devotee will come join. The group will sing. And Croatians. And then Croatians are bigger. Then Croatian will start to. <coughs> Right? And all has to be there, not that your program finishes, you go. It's not that. <laughs> <laughs> then, my 20 years effort, European devotee will also say something. 20 years effort. <laughs> they are also. Not a big group, but <laughs> something is there. My effort of 20 years, I can only collect, you can see that. And four years, five year effort of Jananda, <laughs> you can feel this. Then you understand who is more elevated. <laughs> Looking. <laughs> After doing 20 years of effort, nothing I can achieve. <laughs> no, 21, 22 years of effort. <laughs> right. Right, Kofina? Yes, I met you 20 years. Yes, I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> and he, she may, how many years, Radha? 27. And 29. <laughs> yeah, he is hiding, he forget many things. <laughs> he knows many things. Right? I was very new, honestly. I start. I, I never was a brahmachari, never was any uh, practice, kirtan and this, that, nothing. Just I become sannyasi. <laughs> then I asked to my sannyas guru, I took sannyas, but what I do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know to preach. I don't know what to do. Then he gave me one book. That this will help you. I open maybe English words. Not one English word is there. <laughs> it's totally in Spanish. <laughs> I said, my God, I have no way to learn it. <laughs> Honestly, I say you. I say, I cannot learn even. I just don't know the language. I don't know the meaning of the words. I don't know anything. <laughs> How I can understand and rely? Then he said, Yes, I will give you a translator who can read this book and translate you. <laughs> and really, it still is my practice. If you say to open and explain something, I cannot do. <laughs> if somebody read, then I enlight. And this book was of Siddha Mahatma, of Siddha Maharaj. Divine Welcome of Love. So many things were there, all divine words. But without you not stay in your soul consciousness, you cannot understand anything that. So this book helped me to listen and to practice to do that to go in the your constitutional position. Too. 
is very helpful to know the soul and to start move on from that. It's so divine and beautiful book. And really it helps. Yeah. Then slowly, slowly, see, life changes. Hundred percent, I can give my time because if I'm doing this in uh, India, it's not possible. So much Maya is with me. I born with the full of. A full and Maya, so nobody can give me a chance to do that. Nine months I've traveled without no information to anyone. And that way I can fix my mind one point. In Radha I was suffering because I am far from him. Viraha of Radha Mohan. And love of Radha Mohan, boring is and to that love to start from my I know the constitutional position because of the mercy of my Radha Govindas Bhavati Saru. And then it is that developing my position. <laughs> And this is the mercy <coughs> to revoke again my identification. This was the gift of South America. Yeah. Really. So that way I have to come to America and in South America. Two places I go. America and South America. Um, they are living in Newark, my children. But I, my time is more in Miami area, right or not? Because there was a temple and devotees were there. So I stay in Miami area mostly. And Bhagavata Amrita was the president there. Sharnagati, they are the president there. So they helped me so much in traveling, meeting, every place. So is it my, my learning time with the meeting with the devotees? After this practice, 2001 or 2000? Europe. Uh, Europe then slowly I start. Slowly, I cannot stop 100%, but I go on this Peru, America, and Europe. Right. Is all mercy of devotees and love I received. I was in Colombia, I'm taking sannyas. I not forget that time. That day was 1,000 people in that temple. And when the sannyas time come, they all start crying. I don't know why they, they are crying in ecstasy or what. They start crying like a, Then I remember Mahaprabhu. Mahaprabhu. Yeah, they are all crying like a, some her child is taking renounce in the course. Oh, oh there. There was so much love they give me. And they inspired me. South American devotee inspired me. When I see their love, 
how much they are in devotion with Krishna and I am not doing anything. <laughs> they change me. I don't change them, they change me. <laughs> they change me, my dear. So I cannot forget this days. How he gave me love. How Sharnagati gave love. They are the great helper to me. They help me to do the real service to my life. I am very thankful of that to everyone. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. I want to go to Delhi to bring Raja, but nobody permitted me to go. <laughs> what are they doing to you? My God, they say you are not qualified to go. <laughs> now the, you become their baby guru. <laughs> uh, my elder son, President is coming today after big operation and big stuff, and I want to go with him. <laughs> But now I am happy that Raprashant Bhaiyago, Chaitanya, Prem went and Mangalarti went. So Europe is up there, Japan is there, and family is there. Now it's a good. Very nice. Very nice combination, Gurudev. And you can just be in your constitutional position on your blue chair. <laughs> yeah. Radharani also sending her Darcy. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yes. How many people? Uh, Fifty. Fifty. Radhe, Radhe. How take is there? How is there? How